This quick video will show how to organize files and folders in your Google Drive, as well as how to create files and share them in several different ways. So you can see I have my Google Drive open. Um, you can get to Google Drive by clicking the waffle in Google Drive, or well, you'll notice that I accessed Google Drive through the NISD portal. I've got lots of folders here. You can tell that they are all named. Um, and then I've got a few documents that don't belong to folders because I'm currently working on them, um, but a lot of white space here. So this means that most files that I have belong to a specific folder. In order to create a folder in your Google Drive, you're going to click on New and then choose Folder. Here I can name my folder. And then anytime I want to rename or even color coordinate that folder, I can right click. I can rename and then I can change the, the color. It might be a good idea to have a folder maybe for all your different subjects like math, science, art, um, whatever that would look like there. Um, I can also move folders and share them with other people if I need to. You'll notice that within each folder you could have subfolders and I've actually chosen to number these folders because folders go in an alphabetical order. So if there's a specific folder that you know is really important that you want to be able to access quickly, you might title that with a one. Um, that way they will be in order for you. As a student, a quick shortcut folder that you might really enjoy using is the recent folder. So if I've got a project that I was working on and I want just quick access, if I got a recent, this is going to be everything that I've recently accessed or anything that someone's recently shared with me. So this is just good quick access for something you want to jump back into. The shared with me folder means anything that somebody has shared with me. Um, so this is not necessarily in my drive. And there's an analogy that I like to use when trying to look at the shared with me folder. This is a folder that you're not necessarily going to organize, um, but we'll show you how you can add some of these folders to your Google Drive. I like to think of my drive as my kitchen. I can organize my drive however I want to in the folders I want to. I can color coordinate them, all of those types of things. In the shared with me folder, this is anything that anybody brings to the table. I might not want everything in the shared with me, but it's brought to the table. With that said, I can take something that I want from the shared with me and I can right click and choose add to my drive so that I can organize it how I want to. I'm in the shared with me folder now. If I right click, you will see the add to my drive option. Then when I go to my drive, I'll see the folder file here and I can then move that either by dragging or simply by right clicking and then choosing move to. And I can choose which folder I want this to go to. As far as organization, one other tip is that you can view this in multiple ways. You can view it in grid view or list view. List view is sometimes helpful if you wanna see all the details, maybe the date it was modified by, who is the owner, and then get the full titles. I typically prefer the grid view um, just so that I can see a little thumbnail of the document. But you can toggle between those um, as needed. So real quick, we're going to look at how to create files. If you go to New, you'll see your options, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and when you click on More, you'll have several other options here as well. Um, students especially might use Google Drawings, or they want to make a map, or um, Jamboard. For now, I'm going to go ahead and create a Google Doc. Remember, it's important to title everything in your Google Drive, so you're going to want to title this. We're also going to look at several ways to share all of the files that you have. So you can see that any Google Docs, Slides, Sheets that you create is going to default to private. Only I can access this document. When I click on Share, I can share two different ways. I could actually insert somebody's email. You'll see it auto-populates for me. And I am going to give um, Shelly Hall editing access to this file. So I'm going to click on Send. Okay. Another way that I can share is by the link. A lot of times when teachers want you to send them a project, they're going to want you to share the link with them. So I would simply click on Get Shareable Link. This means anybody with our district can view, and I'm going to copy that link and then send it in an email or upload it to Moodle, whatever the instructions might be. You'll note that there are other options as well. I can go to More, and I could choose anyone with the link if I was sharing outside of the district. Okay, Or maybe I want to turn that link sharing off and just have specific people where only Shelly can edit. And I can even take her back to can view only if I want to as well. Keeping your Google Drive organized is really important as a student and just knowing how to manage the different files that you're going to be turning in and creating.